It has been said that India was to be a land of farmers and snake charmers once upon a time. And now it has risen to become a country of IT, science and technology. This is true. India has developed a lot. But there are other regions apart from the metro cities and big towns that crave for the basic amenities. Children are regarded as the most beautiful gift from the God. Whenever a child is born in a family, the members see the child as their future ladder of support, love and care. And for this purpose, they try their best to educate them. Education is the backbone of the country's progress too. It helps to strengthen the very fabric of nation and produce men of education, enlightenment and character. When we educate a child, we come up a step forward in this process. And when we educate a girl child, we come up a step forward to educate a future family. But there are number of such families that are deprived of even the basic physiological needs, needless to talk of literacy education or nation building families with more than two children to support no proper housing and instead of going to some school or any studying area they are expected to do household works that are not their court of practice they are even deprived of the basic nutrition they should get This is a small village on the Mandideep road, Samardha in Bhopal. And this is a not so small family that reside here. We can see that the kids are busy in their studies. The parents also support them as much as they can. But things were not so easy before. Let's hear out from the head of the family. मैं सरकारी स्कूल में तो मेरे बच्चों की पढ़ाई हो ही नहीं रही थी मान के चलिए बिल्कुल ही मैं सोचा अपने पास में अवन तक का विद्या भवन खुला है नया स्कूल है वहाँ पर अपने बच्चों को मैंने एडमिट करवा दिया वहाँ पर पूरी सुविधा मिल रही मेरे बच्चों को किताब काफ़ी भी उनको फ्री मिल जा मिल रही है और बस बस का जो किराया भाड़ा जो कुछ भी नहीं लग रहा मेरा मान के चलिए सरकारी जैसे मेरे बच्चे पढ़ रहे हैं और बहुत अच्छे पढ़ रहे हैं मेरे बच्चे and now his son wants to say something about the facilities that were not provided by the government school pehle school ki fees bhi nahi de pate the jab se avantika vidya bhavan school mein aaye hain humko koi pareshani nahi hoti hai aur hum humko padhna bhi aa gaya hai bus fees bhi free hai aur school fees bhi free hai all these problems were considered by a dedicated society arpan which attempted to create and generate a difference in the field of education and self improvement by establishing a school avantika vidya bhavan that teaches children from kg to 10th standard avantika vidya bhavan provides free educational facilities to the rural kids of the area the school has grown from a primary school to a class 10 school serving over 300 students and they propose to add one higher class every year the best part of the school is that it does not in any way builds a burden on the manual labor class parents all the facilities 
that are provided by the other equivalent private or government schools i have provided for no cost despite of limited facilities the school fees the transportation charges the fund for books and stationery are provided free of cost parents do not have to pay a single penny from their tight pockets for their children education urban society has attempted to deal with the education part of the children of this area in the most affordable and convenient manner the students despite of the bad roads and challenging climates are able to reach the school on time the bus facility provides the pick and drop facility right from the children's homes so that they don't have to worry about their convenience and can carry on with their sole motives now studies but wait it is not only studies that the kids do here there's a proverb all work and no play makes jack a dull boy keeping this theory in mind avantika vidyabhavan also organizes frequent playway techniques for the overall personality development of the children games mold the national character and influence art and literature as well as the legacy of the school is overall development of the child stress is laid that all students participate in different cultural and sports activities every festival is celebrated with a great joy different games are organized frequently by the school also to motivate and reinforce prizes are distributed to the winners the main aim of the school is to provide free education to the rural population of six nearby villages bagroda bangrasia hamjara samri samardha dipadi and liberty colony majority of the children are from very poor families whose family members are either farmers or manual laborers and who are below the poverty line let us know the main aim of the school from the director herself the main aim of the school was to give education to the rural children and for the upliftment of this society mirja also tells us about the history of the school when we started the school there were hardly we started school with 50 children and now within 5 years the number of children have reached to 400 and most of the children are coming from uh, government schools they are leaving good schools and coming to our schools because here the education is free and whereas the education is also very good apart from the basic education facilities the avantika vidya bhavan also provides other facilities like adult education program embroidery and stitching training programs special medical checkups and all this for no expenses besides uh, um, giving uh, education to the children we are also giving them training in computers in handicrafts so that uh, and stitching embroidery so that they can do something for themselves also urban society in order to make women independent offers them classes in zari and zardozi work swing stitching after which they are given diploma degree by usha international the girls from nearby villages uh, zardozi work so the girls now they are independent they are doing embroidery on these sarees and selling them off and whereas they have learned stitching also and, and have got diploma from usha usha machines since